for choosing Winnipeg to make your home. In 30 countries, International Women's Day is a national holiday. In Canada, it's not. But you can bargain language like that into your collective agreement. There are some places that do have that as a provision. International Women's Day is a holiday. And I'd like to introduce a speaker now who introduced language into her collective agreement, the first one in QP across Canada that bargained language that said you get equal pay for equal value of work. Yeah. And the collective agreement also banned discrimination on the grounds of sexual orientation, race, gender, ethnic origin, and religious affiliation. And that was way before there was legislation that said this. Thank you, Heather. Yeah. Now she has another engagement that she has to get to, so I'm not going to take any more time um, in introducing her. I don't know that she even needs introduction. And if you need to know more about her, Google her. <laughs> just add, and that was 1972. So for some of you, you weren't even thought of yet. And for those, for, for those of you who weren't thought of yet, my name is Heather Bishop, and um, it's a great honor to be here with the other speakers. May Louise been a, a, an admirer of yours for years, as you know. So um, I just have a short time, and the, the thing I want to say to you, first of all, is when I look out at this crowd, what better crowd could I ever address than a crowd of feminists? Bless you. And I have to say to the men here, bless you, thank you. I've always wondered why everyone didn't call themselves a feminist personally. And for the young ones here, you young ones, you young ones, you make my heart sing. I have so much hope seeing you here and knowing that you are going to take it forward and move it forward and go to places that I can't even imagine. And mostly, well, in Farron's words, you young ones, you're the next one, and may you choose it well. Though you try hard, you may fall prey. To the jaded jewel, but by your lives be you spirit. Come on, and by your hearts be you open, and by your eyes be you open. And by your hands be you whole, be you whole. Okay. Well, I just wanted to say that, that you know, I, I'm proud and happy that I was a part of this, the second wave. And, and we kicked a lot of butt in the second wave. There's a lot more butt to kick, and I, I get quite a charge out of it when they talk about feminism being dead or the feminist mistake and all that stuff. It's like, oh, get a grip. <laughs> Watch the news in Winnipeg. Take a look at one of our judges. Where do I start in trying to tell you why we still have a lot of work to do? So we do have a lot of work to do, and for the young ones, can I say, we've got your back. Yes. You go ahead and take the lead. We've got your back and we'll be there. And if I could, um, in the spirit of what May Louise did, if I could leave you with what I would consider to be a blessing. I was a shy and lonely girl with the heavens in my eyes. And as I walked along the way, I heard the echoes of her cries. I cannot fight. I cannot a warrior be. 
It is my nature and my teaching. It is the womanhood in me. Well, I was a lost and angry there were no tears in my eyes. I saw no justice in my world. Only the echoes of her cries. I cannot fight. I cannot a warrior be. It's not my nature nor my teaching. It is the womanhood in me. Well, I am an older woman now. Hmm. <laughs> and I will be my own prize. And I will a fierce warrior be. Till not another woman dies. I can and will fight. I can and will a warrior be. It is my nature and my duty. It is the womanhood in me. I can and will fight. I can and will a warrior be. It is my nature and my duty. It is the sisterhood in me. so many things I can't even begin to tell you all the things I've been called. Remember that tall trees catch more wind? Remember that being a feminist just means that you're looking for a world that is socially just, environmentally sound, and spiritually fulfilling. Who would not want to call themselves a feminist? <laughs>